A new snapshot of healthcare reveals a system in crisis. The findings from the Canadian Institute for Health Information highlight several problem areas that emerged during the pandemic and that continue to stretch staff and services. Tashana Reed from CBC's Health Unit joins me now live from our newsroom in Toronto. Tashana, great to see you. Uh, tell us what the report reveals. Good to see you too, Hannah. Well, the Canadian Institute for Health Information, they analyzed this data that they received from uh, provincial and territorial governments. And it is important to note that Quebec did not agree uh, to contribute to this report. So their data is not included. But what we're looking at is some of the key issues, big issues uh, that we've been talking about in this country when it comes to where our healthcare system is at. So everything from staffing shortages to access to mental health uh, and addiction services. So some of the big findings uh, was looking at surgery backlogs. Another story we've talked about a lot here. The report says in the first two and a half years of the pandemic that there were fewer, uh, 743,000 fewer surgeries performed in Canada. So that's a drop of about 13% compared to the years before. And the largest drop in surgeries was seen in Newfoundland and Labrador. Now, surgeries there were cut by 21%. But again, it varied across the country. Uh, their backlog was mostly orthopedic surgeries, such as knee and hip replacements. And furthermore, another thing that this report highlighted was people from lower income neighborhoods that they were most more likely to be impacted by these issues. We spoke to a family doctor at St. Michael's Hospital, Dr. Daniel Raza, and here's what he had to say about the findings. If you're from a low income working class community, uh, you're, you know, even farther behind in terms of accessing surgery than um, other people in Canada. And unfortunately, this is not, this is not a new pattern. And there are some gaps in this data. Uh, specifically, there is no data around First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people in this report. Um, and also, it varied uh, from province uh, and territory in terms of what data they did have available to share. Tashana, one of the biggest things we've heard of for quite some time is access to a family doctor. What did the report have to say about that? Right, of course, another big issue. Uh, the data did show that 12% of Canadians reported that they did not have access to a primary uh, health care provider, and that is across the country. But it did vary depending on where you live. So uh, we saw in Nunavut that there was only about 24% of people who had access to a regular uh, health care provider compared to Ontario and New Brunswick where that number was around 90 percent. Another thing was young adults, people between the ages of 18 to 34, they were the least likely group to have access to a regular health care provider. And again, uh, people who lived in rural and remote areas, they faced challenges as well. So some of these issues aren't new, but they were exacerbated uh, during the pandemic. And again, this, uh, this data and this report is part of an agreement that was made earlier this year between Ottawa and provincial and territorial governments to improve the collection uh, and reporting of health data in exchange for billions of dollars more in uh, federal health care funding. Hannah? Tashana Reed from CBC's Health Unit. Thank you for the details. You're welcome.